Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And when you're watching this, I have already been at my playhouse for a week because I'm a little bit in front with videos. So I'm back in Denmark from Portugal. And um, yeah, I kind of want to get into the bunker today, but I have this water barrier, <laughs> which is very convenient for safety. <laughs> well, <laughs> you need to scoop off these uh, 50 liters of water before you can get in. But if, yeah, I think it's uh, it might have all kind of uh, issues down there, so I want to go in and check it, and then hopefully this this season we can get a little bit further with that, so that um, I can play around more in the bunker. Uh, I do have a humidity problem down there. Dirt around it is nice and cold, so when air goes in there, the air cools down, and the water in the air ends up on the walls and. Yeah, we get a mold problem as well when there is water and damp and so we need to do some air circulation and I need to get some power in there anyway. So uh, I have a plan. I hope I have a plan. I hope I have a good plan. But first I have a plan for emptying out this. I could take a bucket. That would work. I think this high take solution will uh, be more fun. So um, let's see what we can do. So it's a lovely sunny day here in Denmark. Not many of those. Uh, yeah, it's blotchy cold though. It's very cold, but it's sunny. So um, I have this lithium ion battery from Time USB, which was kindly given to me by them for me to promote. So now I'm gonna be using it a little bit. Uh, I have done the promotion that I promised them. So um, this is the pump that I uh, was using in the basement. Uh, the electronic messed up again, so I have disconnected all the, the weird electronic and I got a very good suggestion. Why didn't I put the electronic out of the water and uh, Yeah, that was because I needed a little uh, Level switch down there anyway, so but next time I'm gonna put the little level switch down there And then I'm gonna extend the wire out of the water. So let's put this in Just here It's working Put that in and pop. There we are. Oh, way more fun. So I'm sure this will drain out in no time. This crap doesn't drain as well. So you heard of a firewall? This is a water wall. The water wall to my uh, to my bunker. Well, in winter it was an ice wall. <sighs> well, I got tired of holding it, so uh, yeah. It will drain out, it will be fine. Okay, we are just about there. <laughs> yeah, I think we got all of it. Oh, last little bit is ever so slightly disgusting. See what we got. Oh. There we are. I did put a piece of foam down here. Can you see that? Yeah, you kind of can. I'll take that out without getting the water that is on it. Now that oh shit. There's a lot of water down there. That's not good. Okay, this is becoming advanced. I have one of these painting uh, things that you can extend. And it becomes a lot longer and you just twist it and it locks into place. But because the, uh, the hose for the little pump is kind of curled up. I just tested. The wire for the electric is long enough to reach down there, so I want to just want to use this stick so that I can control it a little bit better. And I have some Velcro strips from servers, so um, IT related, and we're just gonna tighten it up a little bit here so that I get a little bit of control. 
uh, missing about with it down there. I don't want to go down there before it's a little bit more dry. There we have it, a pump on a stick. So uh, let's see if that works. Uh, oh, and I have extended with a little bit of red hose here so to get the water out of in the right direction ish. Okay, turning it on, dumping it in the water. Yep, I feel the water coming out. I'll give you a better view of it. There we have it. Water is coming out of the pipe over there. And the pump is sitting there. So, yeah, that's a lot of water that has gone into that. I need some bleach to, uh, to prepare the walls as well. Uh, yeah, bleach is really effective. It's not gonna take long. When I, when I have the water out of there, the bleach is gonna be perfectly good. I need a, a bit of a washing cloth to, uh, yeah, to get it over. I do believe that the middle here is the is the lowest part, so we should be able to get off, get out all of the water. Okay, I think I got as much water out with the little pump as I could. Um, it still looks bad down there, but it's not as bad as it is. Uh, well, I mean, it looks worse than it is. Uh, yeah, I had a, had a little issue every time I turned off the pump, all the water in the pipe came back down. So, um, <laughs> yeah, it took a couple of tries to, uh, to keep the pump going and then pull it up fast and uh, not have all that water come. Well, it wasn't that much. It's like this amount. But, yeah. I think I have had water in it before because I have this stick with a cloth on the end and I think I used that last time. There was a little bit of water that I needed to wipe off. So, <laughs> yeah, this time it's, uh, it has a little bit of a bigger job. Oh, I just looked at the temperature out here and it's 3.5 degrees Celsius outside, so even if the sun is shining, it's really cold. Oh, very cold. I have put the solar panels onto the system. There is a power bank down there. Uh, so maybe there is, maybe that is in working order, I don't know. So now I'm gonna climb down there. I'm gonna get wet socks for sure. So uh, yeah, have some soap water and I have, uh, I think there's chlorine in that one. Um, yeah, going in. Oh, it's wet then. Take the shoes off, I don't want those wet. <sighs> oh yeah, and I have a light on my head as well. <sighs> let's turn that on there. Okay, let's get you with me in. <sighs> oh yeah. Let's go in, you and me, pal. Oh. Yeah, this looks awesome. Not. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh dear. Oh. So there's a lot of water on the ceiling here. And over there. That's going to be a lot of cleaning. Luckily, it seems that the computers are off the ground, but they have probably gotten wet. Power station looks happy down there. But 
Yeah, what a mess. Okay, most of this comes off rather easily. So, uh, just take a wet cloth and just dry it off. But, yeah, <laughs> it does not look like much, but <laughs> there is quite the surface area down here and there's quite the amount of water on the, on the ceiling here. So, yeah, I, uh, I cleaned a little bit where I'm sitting. As you might know, it's not big enough for me to stand down here, so I'll, um, I'll work on this a little bit. Let's try some of this difficult over here. See how that comes off. Not as easily, but yeah, it does come off. Okay, I'm halfway through. I have done half of the bunker. Uh, well, this half. Uh, the bottom doesn't look as great, uh, it needs a bit of bleach. The bleach is sitting right there. I put it in a bottle of window spray, uh, mostly just because that's the cheapest spray bottle you can get. Window spray it costs next to nothing, and a spray bottle that does the same, it costs more than the bottle of window cleaner. So, uh, so for all you Linux guys, if you want to clean out windows, <laughs> this is how you do it. Um, I still need this part over here. I turn on the flashlight on the power station there and I do have some equipment down here that I should probably take out because uh, I, I think it needs to dry out before I try it and use it again. So yeah, not, um, not good. Let's see if it doesn't work. Okay, I have now cleaned out the other side as well. Uh, just with this regular water and soap, um, the, the chlorine uh, is a little bit on the poison side and not good to breathe in. So I wanted to wait until the last minute and spray some of that on and get out of here. So I've been emptying out, getting all the stuff out <laughs> that needs to dry up at least. <laughs> some of it might not be... Uh, functional anymore but yeah I need to get the water out of here and then I need to go spraying a bit okay I didn't film that but I sprayed uh, one half of it with uh, chlorine and uh, yeah I hope it's gonna clean that a little bit uh, the air got really chlorine really fast down there so I uh, I hurried up and got out of there and uh, now I can sit there for a little bit and then uh, some other day I'll go and clean some more so this might be um, a video that we, uh, we get back into in two seconds. Okay, you might not be able to see it, but it has been a week since I, uh, since I finished the last bit of recording from down here. So uh, in the last week it has cleaned up a little bit. I didn't get to do this part over here, so that is pretty um, moldy. But over here, I actually managed to do that. There is a still a bit of water and that has come down from wherever, I'm not sure. But I have another bucket of water and I'm gonna clean it up again. And then I think I might wanna go and drill a hole over here to, uh, to get some, um, some air in at some point. So yeah, um, continuing a little bit here down today down here today. I was just <laughs> starting to prepare for this and we actually had hail. It was just a few seconds of little hails but yeah, I thought it was just gonna be starting to rain and then it was hail. So, continuing. Okay, I put the lid on. It started to rain upstairs and yeah, now it stopped again. So, well, I forgot my slippers up there. They must have gotten quite wet by now. Uh, I've been scrubbing uh, this side. I haven't used the chlorine yet. It's in this bottle. I did put a little bit in this bucket, but not a whole lot. This over there is clear chlorine. And I'm gonna be putting it over here. But that's the very last thing I'm gonna do before I get the heck out of here, because I don't like chlorine. Um, it uh, creates vapors in your lungs and kills you. 
that way. So uh, I am gonna. Well, this time I'm gonna put the camera and and stuff upstairs before I put on the chlorine because last time, well, earlier in the video, uh, trying to get everything out of here as fast as possible with the, <laughs> uh, the chlorine already being on the walls uh, wasn't nice. I'm very good at help, uh, holding my breath, but there is a limit, you know. Okay, I'm almost there, just need to get the camera out of here. So. I am gonna take the camera out of here and then I will chlorine this. So let's see if I can put the camera away and get, get it into safety. Yeah, I have to be careful not to put it in, in the bucket of water. There's my wet slippers. So, okay, putting on the chlorine and be right back. I'm up, I'm fine, I'm alive. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's just see. The water here is, was not naturally, not brown when I started. So last time I did this, it was black. Now it's just brown. But we can stick the camera down here. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be much of a difference to what you just. Oh, I forgot. I turned the lights off down here. Naturally, but the camera picks it up pretty well. Don't drop it, Morgan. Don't drop it. Yeah. It's um. It's an improvement. Right here at the bottom, where the water has been dripping down all winter, it doesn't look that great. I need to probably repaint a bit of this. Okay, it's a weird day today. Um, then it's raining, then it's hailing and yeah. I have some of this pipe that I want to put into my bunker here and it's about 40 millimeters or four centimeters across and the bunker goes this way and somewhere out here I want to drill a hole and I want kind of uh, where is it? I want the, the hole to be as far down as possible or the pipe going in as far, as far down as possible. So I have a uh, hole, hole drilling device here. It's, uh, it's apparently full of water. Okay, we need to figure that out. Uh, I'm not going to drill the hole right now, but I want to I want to figure out how deep I can make it. This is longer than I remember. Okay, let's see. We should be able to do that about, about there. And then probably 110 is a good measurement. So 110 above the ground. I could dig further and blah blah blah, but yeah, this should be fine. So, 110 from ground level and down, that's... Hmm. Oh crap, now it's raining again. Let's see, 110. Oh, this is deeper than 110, so... Um, oh, it's actually just about 110, so it's gonna be somewhere. Oh... No, we're gonna go inside. I did prepare for this a bit ago, so I bought a metal drill thingy that will do 40 millimeters like there and well this is from Bilteme Swedish company and they sell a, a thingy to to do this well, I just bought the drill thing I'm not sure I think this is this is better quality HSS biometal biometal mm. This one is 44. That's also by metal, so this might be okay, but I'm not entirely sure if it cuts steel. Hmm. No, it doesn't look like it's um, 
it will do zinc, aluminium, copper, bronze, three plastic acrylic stuff. So uh, I hope this is good for it. Otherwise, we'll have to go and buy something stronger. Mm, have no idea. But I found that this device that came with this set uh, will go on this one, which is awesome because this one in the shop was. 12 euros and i have one so that's awesome i saved myself 12 euros and this one is special in the regards that it it has you screw in the threads into the middle of this but then it has two thinkies on the side which um, well it's meant for so that you don't screw this on too tight and you can get it off again so this device has two two pins that uh, if I hold it here and I turn this one, two pins will pop up and go into the metal thing. So um, when I'm done, I can turn these off again, or out again, and they will come out. And then it should be easier for this to uh, not get stuck. So there is the whole thing. And it's it's on there really well, but it's it's not screwed in tight. It's relying on those two pins to uh, to turn it around and then it should be a piece of cake to undo this afterwards and this set is something that i purchased i think i got it from aldi many 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 years ago so it has already done uh, a great job and this wasn't even 12 euros it's a new day at at the moment it's not raining so i figured out that this is 110 long and from the top soil here and to the to the top of the bunker it's about 40 centimeters so not a lot so uh, at some point I need to take the drill and I drill a hole out here somewhere to meet up with the hole that I'm gonna be drilling in the bunker right now to put that piece of red pipe through uh, it's not thick but to get a little airflow in plus I want a power cable and a network cable so that the bunker will be powered and on the internet internet bunker and so i have all the stuff that i need to bring down to the bunker uh, there and the camera and me and let's get in okay we are in the bunker actually this side doesn't look too great i must admit this side that i cleaned up yesterday looks a lot better Oh, I even have an extra flashlight with me down here, so we can we can put some more light in this area. Uh, this light I have had it down here before. Where did I put it? There it is. Tiny little pin light, but it gives a it gives a lot of light. So, and it has a magnetic thing that you can just stick to the top and point it in the right direction. And we get a lot of lights over here. I must admit, it smells really good down here. I see that the light that it gives out flickers on the camera screen here, so I hope that isn't too bad. But yeah, it smells really good down here because of all the, <laughs> the cleaning materials that I've used. So, and it doesn't smell like chlorine anymore. So that is good. Um, I did bring the bucket of water, so when I'm done drilling, I will clean a little bit and I see some water over there, so yeah, but less and less water down here. When I clean all the surfaces, naturally there is a lot of wet surfaces and that water will go down and be at the bottom, so yeah, let's, um, we need to measure. Um, I was talking about the measurements upstairs, so from the top of that corner there's like 40 centimeters of dirt and a little bit of grass and so we need to um, kind of go 70 centimeters down that's where I'm gonna drill the hole somewhere in the middle here 70 centimeters down uh, from the top and I'll measure that out and figure out where that's gonna be I'm guessing somewhere around there <laughs> probably probably there somewhere I don't know how far that. I'll, uh, I'll show you. This one can measure uh, curves as well. Uh, never mind. So if we put that to the top, 
<laughs> it has seen some sunlight. See the it has sunburn up there, and then the 70 centimeters is just about there. Uh, so a little bit below the middle of the of the center of the bunker. So I am gonna drill my hole just about 70 centimeters. So yep. So this monstrosity uh, has a drill bit, but I, I don't want to waste it. So I have actually brought three other drill bits with me down here, so I can start with the smaller one and go up in size. And that way this thing is only going to waste this part and not this part. And yeah, so um, start with the smallest, go up in size and then end up with this thing. And I hope that's going to be good. So. We, uh, we are through, all ready, and already made a mess. Okay, I'm through with all the drill bits, so let's see if this one will fit in there. It will, so um, I'm ready to scratch the paint. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's do that on video, so let's see. Yeah, we scratched the paint, good. I need both hands. Okay, it's hard to see, but just before the drill bit was steaming, I'm through, but I broke this. Uh, and it was, a, uh, it was a lot of hassle to get that to sit there, so I've cocked it in. Ah, uh, dang it. Well, yeah, the drill bit uh, slipped and hit it, and it, got, it, it went loose. So maybe I need to... Um, do that again but we're, we're through there is a hole there that I can now connect to when I come from the outside <sighs> that thing is irritating maybe we can use one of these magnetic flashlights to keep it in place <laughs> double purpose this metal wasn't as as hard as I was expecting it to be so it, it went rather quick and the drill bit from BT Mac uh, did, a, did a good job. Uh, well, I was expecting this to be more difficult. Um, I'm gonna clean up this mess. Okay, I have cleaned up this mess over here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna do like yesterday. I'm gonna use this chlorine in the window spray bottle. And I'm gonna give it some chlorine down here. You can see the spots here. I don't know if I'm able to get these away, but I'm gonna prepare everything, uh, get the bucket out of here and the camera, and then I'm gonna spray it, and then I'm gonna get the heck out of here as well. Okay, so this is gonna be it for this video. When you're watching this, it's uh, we are celebrating Easter here, so have a few days off. Might um, actually, Get on with this project. <laughs> I think I need new batteries for this thing. Not much light coming out of that. I measured how far from from this thing, from in here, from there, I need to go 107 centimeters out, plus uh, half of the diameter of the drill, and go down. And I should hit the the side of it. So. Uh, yeah, I did that before I climbed out of there. Uh, well, before I put on the chlorine, so. I know, it wasn't much progress. We cleaned a lot. That's a lot of noise. We cleaned a lot and yeah, I needed to clean that before I could get on with this project because it was filthy, wet and moldy and hopefully we are gonna get a better, better result when we get some air circulation through there. So uh, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.